Hey guys, my name is Byron. I'm one of the lifeguards for Lake Macquarie City Council and today I just wanted to talk to you through a few of the signings we use at the beach. The signage we use is really important because it's our way of communicating certain things that have happened during the day to you, the public, and we like to keep it as clear and as simple as possible. The first sign I'm going to talk you through today is our beach clothes sign. It has a red flag and a cross through the swimming logo. It's really important that you guys understand that we close the beach for a, new, a few different reasons. It could be large surf, pollution problems, it could be marine stingers, it could be marine life around. But we will indicate to you why we've closed the beach. But when you do rock up to the beach, it's really important that you stay out of the water for your safety and for the safety of everyone around you when you see this sign. Alrighty guys, this is probably the most important part of this section, the red and yellow flagged area. This is the, this, the area we patrol and this is the area we really want you guys to swim in because we've got ours on at all times and we've come down to the beach in the morning and we found the safest place for you guys to swim. So we'll erect the red and yellow flagged area on a sandbar and that indicates the waves coming in over the sandbar and it's a really safe place for you to be. We also monitor it at all times. The red and yellow flags are always used in conjunction with the black and white flags. Depending on conditions, we'll put the black and white flags between three and 15 feet out from the red and yellows. This is to keep the board riders in a safe distance from all swimmers. And this is a warning to all board riders to please not go through that area. So we have a board riding zone and a swimming zone at every beach. And if we have the separation between the two, we'll limit any sort of incidents that can happen on the beach and we'll be able to optimize everybody's safety in those areas. When we set up our red and yellow flagged area, sometimes there's other um, hazards on the beach that we have to look out for. And with us, it's a moving hazard. So a lot of times we'll have a safe zone for you to swim, but there might be a bit of water moving in that area from left to right, or if the tide's a bit higher, we might have a big shore break. If that's the case, we'll erect a strong current sign, just warning you, the general public, that there is a bit of water moving over that bank. It comes into play, especially for people that are weak swimmers, older people, or young kids. So really important to check that one out if you guys are in the area. Another, flag, another sign that we'll use in our flagged area is the marine sting, stingers sign. This is just to notify you guys that there is stingers coming in either with the tide or the wind. 99% of the time it's blue bottles, but we might have some jellyfish that sting you as well coming in on the warmer currents. Alrighty guys, this sign's really important. This is the sign we erect in front of all the rips up and down our patrol zone. Um, if the rip's heavy, we'll actually put a, a rescue board with the sign in front of the rip. It's really important you adhere to this sign. As you can see, it's a swimmer with a red cross through it with a dangerous current sign. These are all erected in front of rips that will take you out to sea and on the other side of the sandbank. So it's really important that you get, when you see these signs, you guys stay out of the water and you use the red and yellow flag zone that we're actively patrolling through the day. All right, we've got signs that we've erected during the day. We might move them around depending on the swell conditions and tide conditions. But one of these signs is sub a submerged rock. As the tide runs out during the day and rocks start to pop up around the swimming area or in our patrol zone, we'll er erect this sign just to inform people that there are submerged rocks and whatever you do, please don't dive headfirst into those submerged rocks. Alrighty guys, this sign is a crowd favourite of us. Um, as we're at the beach all day, we do have a lot of uh, sharks live in the sea. And every once in a while, a shark will pop in and say good day to us. So we do have a procedure that we follow when this happens for your own safety. Um, we will get everybody out of the lineup and we will uh, close the beach for an hour and erect a shark sighted sign and it'll say the time of the shark was spotted and if we know the size of the shark 
and uh, that sign is left up all day. However, we'll do a sweep of the beach. We'll launch the jet skis. We'll launch the drones. We'll get out. out we'll make sure the beach is safe and the sharks moved on before we reopen the beach. But this sign will be left up all day just so that members of the public know that we did have a shark swim through the area that day.